All right, we're in Marion County, Florida, just north of Ocala, and we are heading to Crone's Nature, sorry, Crone's Cradle Conserve. I found out from being at Ocala Veg Fest that they are organic farmers. They've got a nature preserve. They've got, I think, a retreat center there too. We're gonna we're gonna tour this place and find out all about it. They also use regenerative agriculture. All this stuff really interests me. So we're on the way there. We're about 15 minutes away right now. I was told this this farm has been in the family for seven generations, I believe. Actually, one thing I heard too was that last year's inaugural Ocala Veg Fest, Kevin, the guy who I met, had never seen a bigger crowd assembled in Ocala ever, which is pretty cool. The property is near Citra in a place called Orange Springs. All right, this is the entrance up here on the left. We're going way down here off the road. All right, here's the gate. You can hear my trailer in the back, trailer ball rattling. Or creaking. We are really going deep in here. Speed bumps. Another critter, critter crossing sign. So there's a store straight and the office left. I guess I'm going to the office. So how much area do you have here that you're growing on right now? Down here is about two acres, mostly raised beds. Do you have other stuff, other 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 areas of the property? Yes. All through here, yeah. It's like where you the carrots you had yesterday. Where'd you get? They were out out here somewhere. Yeah, they were out here in a bit. Those are really nice. Our cover crops here. Artichokes again, yeah. And the cover crop just keeps them from anything else bad going in there. I guess right. They, much, they can grow yeah. through there. A lot of people don't believe when they come out and see it for themselves in August. How can you do it in the hot months? Is this is this not as hot I got, here? I got 
got two varieties. Okay. That do it. Is no thing. Single strawberry bed for show. And like that amount of carrots that I picked was only like 10 foot of the back side of that bed. Okay. And like that bed, solid carrots. You can see that one carrot got chewed up. Yeah. How, well, chewed up by what? Animal? A rat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, the yeah. carrots get left behind and then the rats find them. Yeah. So, but I mean, that's just the process and we'll come back in and, and pull those weeds and then till it and then plant it back into a cash crop or into a cover crop land and then dike it up and control the water well and from muck farm yeah, yeah to, and it would be that heavy dirt like everybody assumed right and through their processes of agriculture they couldn't they couldn't keep the soil good because of you know that conventional method where they were just tilling 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 instead of letting the land regenerate through different processes and things right but it started off good it just oh yeah it starts off great yeah, yeah. Four or five years <laughs> yeah a fortune off of it. and if you don't use good management practices at all it all goes to sand yeah yeah so like that little bit right there of that first green is celery and the next taller green is fennel bulb fennel and then this is cilantro that's going to seed that's flowering yeah and then the furthest row with the little yellow tops that's dill that's going to seed so and then we grow probably 10 or 15 different herbs throughout the year and the biggest thing that we try to promote is just local a local diet this is a white polar obby White kohlrabi? White kohlrabi, and then those are purple. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people don't get to see the, the white, don't know that white exists, and a lot of people don't even know if kohlrabi exists. Yeah. That's what they said in the Game Changers movie. The guy thought that broccoli was invented like six years ago. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we have, I mean, we do some fun stuff, like there's moringa trees. Oh, yeah. That are coming back, you know. Lamb's quarter? Yep. So some people call it a weed, but it's, it's a native. Stuff. Yeah, that's what you want, native. And it's a nutty flavor. Tastes like better than a peanut. All right, okay, so there's, I'm just telling for the video, there's there's dike all the way around here holding back water since this land would be, it would fill up basically without that, right? Mm hmm. We have two banks of solar panels that run just about everything for us. Which, right there. Yeah. yeah, that's one of them. And I don't think that solar panels make you sustainable, but a lot of farms claim that that's their way to become sustainable. Oh, I see. Like energy, maybe energy neutral, but not. They're not. They're still not. That's not talking about what they're doing to uh, soils with chemicals and their exactly. practices and all that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. So, tomatoes and then you go the start them off yeah. you know which are like your cauliflower broccoli kohlrabi so you start them here and you move them out yep and instead of anything else right now there's still some other things in here that are lingering from us wanting to change it or Keep wanting to change it, so. And the biggest thing is this weekend's Master Gardeners. And so a lot of these plants will be gone by next Monday, hopefully. So right. They all come in here? 
No, the hall in Oak Island is a big plant. Oh, it's okay. Be like twenty-five thousand people or something comes to really? the event in Oak Island. So. Farm. Okay, so at what's inside the farm store then? We'll walk in there and look. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff from out there. So I heard the rooster out there. So they're getting rid of all the chickens. I'm phasing them all out. And this is a store. We're just not buying new ones. Yeah. This was already in production, or no? Or, no. Is this op this is a field? Yeah, it was, it's always been field. It was historically, probably 20 years ago, it was a peanut farm. Farmers filled the whole, you know. All 60, 78, 60, 70 acres. So this field on the left, this little patch, see how it just looks like a beach sand? Yeah. And it's, you know, for the way that the sand like rolls up on itself, it's blowing when the wind blows right. and it's dry, you're, it's blowing the dirt see that, out yeah. of the field. Okay, that's not a good thing. Right, that's erosion. What we're trying to stop from happening. Yeah. This is like some organic matter over here. Well, this Darker. Field, this is we haven't ever grown anything here yet, so we're okay. working on this field trying to get it right. But why is this darker? Because you're putting you're adding stuff to the it's soil. It's just wetter. Okay. It's why we haven't done anything but till it. That's all we've done with that spot. Just till it. So. Strawberries. This is, this is a little strawberry patch. Yeah. Um. With onions around them, kind of like they do it in Plant City. They say it's so some turf pests that doesn't work. So what you, what types of pests are the problems with oh, them? Shoot. Rats, birds, rats. There's all kinds of little tiny insects that I don't know the names. Right, of. right. You know, seed bugs and things like that. Seed bugs are probably the most biggest problem that we have with. Them. But if you see this field, how it doesn't look like it's rolling, right? Like that field does. Yeah. This yeah. field come out of a cover crop. Oh, just now. Just, well, just, I mean, it's roots in there. Yeah, there's roots, and you can see all the stubble in it. You yeah. Know? Like this little, these little things, like all that, like that was just sun hemp, is all that was. Right. I and mean, that was just a sun hemp plant. It looks like wood. Yeah, we it didn't does. put wood in it. That was just sun hemp. But it was eight foot tall. Oh, wow. So yeah. that's the difference. And I did this on purpose to see the difference uh -huh. in how the land goes from not having anything but tillage done to it right to having a cover crop and i could do it in these two small third of an acre areas so you could see it and then when i bring classes out i can yeah. teach yeah and show them this is what happens when you do it the old way this is what happens when you do it the regenerative way okay you, you can leave a field fallow and not lose your field to blowing to the next people person yeah person's property yep rows this is how we're working in cover crops right now to terminate them is by tilling them so this is mm -hmm. tilled one time and you can see where we stopped tilling oh, yeah. right on the edge of the green all that is is a ryegrass cover crop and we'll just slowly as this spring progresses it'll all be gone and put into cash crops into vegetables okay all kinds oh yeah tomatoes okra squash beans and in this this little area here, with the ryegrass in here, how much can you grow? I mean, how much food can you get out of this? This, this is like a third of an acre too, right? Is that what it is? The whole area, yep. Yeah. How much can you get? I mean, if it's solid plants, then you do it right, right? Squash. One row, just one single row of squash on the first pick will usually be about 350 pounds of squash come off of one row. Oh, yeah. And you'll do that every three days for a three-month period. Really? Okay. good dirt. And yeah. a good ecosystem. Right. That's, that's what you're trying to do. In. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, and then a tomato, there will be 108 tomatoes in each row. Hmm. Yeah. You know, as far as like 40 acre parcels. Right. And through distribution and, and brokers and middlemen, all the small farms are gone. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You can count them on one hand. Lots of woods. Here. So worms and all these? Yeah. So this is what we're going for. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, it's, you got plants growing in the dark here. It's that, that's that fertile. Sweet potatoes is all they are. Yeah. It's all, it's all full of worms in. Oh, yeah. There's a ton. Yes, they're, yeah, they're down in. Uh, I don't see any rabbits. They'll be right here. Of course, it's not going to come up. So you, you have to keep this water? You have to... Yeah. It's kind of dry right now. It's probably why they're so deep. You can see like that ball yeah, of worms right there. there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, some of those, I mean, like, that's a pretty big red wiggler right there. Yeah. So. But we kind of changed this operation up quite a bit, actually. A tractor bucket. Okay, make it easy, yeah. Exactly, because down here you'll see some of the old ones that we haven't repaired. Oh, yeah, I see. They were turned like this and yeah. you couldn't hardly get a wheel. It, it was really hard, yeah. More trouble than it's worth, maybe. Exactly. So, you can see, like, this open spot where we got some of these pulled out that we're going to fit. We started putting metal on them because they had this black plastic on them. The problem was you had to replace it so often. Right. Because right. the limbs would fall on yeah. it, it'd get dry rotted, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so it's... black plastic isn't the most sustainable. Right, yeah, it's not, yeah. But this metal will last and do its job for the next 250 years. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it'll last forever. I mean, they went, they went so extreme that they had sprinklers in it. Hmm. You can see yeah. the pipe trying to I'm like, this yeah. is stupid. Yeah. You didn't have holes in the plastic and stuff, you wouldn't have to water them. What did when I started here was we started two beds. I cut up two, I found two decent beds that had, oh. that were almost full and had a ton of worms in them. Right. And this is one of them. And yeah. You can see how wet it is. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how wet it's we like keep chocolate it. chocolate almost. Yeah, and that's <laughs> mostly cow manure yeah. on this bed, and this is like the yeah. breeder bed. Right. So when we start one of those new beds, we'll scoop out of here and take it over there, and that'll be the start of that bed. Okay. And it might take that bed six months to really start turning a bunch of worms yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. But you just provide them with the right environment, mm -hmm. and they'll do their job. Yeah, yep. So. 12 years old, the way that they're built, so... I think they're 12 years old. So you didn't have to build any new ones? No, I'm just repairing what's there. Yeah, making it better. And it looks like trash, but... And that's the finished product that we're looking to get. It's got very little sand content in it, which right. a lot of... And that's coming out of the cow manure right. that we put in the beds is where that sand's coming from. I mean, the worms don't turn sand into, you know, carbon. So, but there's a lot of carbon in that, and that's what we're looking for. Raw carbon. Yes, sir.